guys so let's take a look at how you can install unity and visual studio code on your windows so first thing go to unity.com and then check for developer tools and go for download section you have multiple option here so let's check download other versions right? and here you see for windows there is option download for windows and there is also another option which you can check here in archive right so here you get to choose exact version that you want say 11 december which is 2021 26 okay here you can also choose the installer or tour version so tour version pretty much downloads everything and installer would install one component at a time and goes through installation process okay so what i have done is i've downloaded this uh, pretty much older version which is in november i suppose okay so is the version which is 23 f1 1 okay so it should be within october i I think right so once you download that go to the respective folder go for Windows directory and click on unity setup okay as you can see I've gone through the tour so it has downloaded the respective components here okay so in order to extract all those files it will take some time to show you the okay so here you see it is asking me for user account control click yes then it will open up a wizard accept the terms okay click next and check the component to install which is unity click next you have to choose the destination folder I'm going to choose different drive and instead of program files I'm going to completely go with new path which is the unity right click next and it will install all the respective files for it okay now here you see the 100% of the install progress is done you will also find unity install and showing icon make sure to also have your studio code installed we will take a look at how to uh, allow unity to open Visual Studio Code externally. Now at the end it should show you the finished window here. Click on finish then go back to the directory and here you can set up uh, some of the language supports and platform supports. So let's say WebGL for your uh, web exports you can add this for your editor so click on unity setup web gel support for editor so this and if you want android you can run that as well so we'll first go through web gel okay so here click next accept and here you see web gel support space required 1 gb right your destination folder Okay, it should do pretty quickly okay so based on the platforms that you wish to support you can find the respective installer so this one I have done because I have downloaded through Tor okay if you use the web based installer you should have an option to go through this 
within your initial web installer options so you just have to check them once and all of that will be downloaded and installed within a single window so this method is more suitable for offline install and you don't have to uh, keep on connecting to internet in order to download these all of these set of files Next, I am going to also run for Windows support for editor. Okay, it should go through the same set of checks like accept agreement, then check the component and destination, click on next. now also let's go through android support so i'm not going to go through all the mac lumen linux ios only android and windows so select that particular installer okay now it should also install the android okay so this android support for editor now what we can do is we will also check out how to connect your unity with your install visual studio code okay so we will also see how to connect with unity hub okay click on agree then make sure to have it in the folder of your choice click install Click on finish and should run the Unity Hub where you have to connect with Unity. Okay, so first thing it will show you is the license part. Okay, so we'll have to make sure to sign in okay once you sign in what you will do is you will activate new license so you can choose unity personal initially okay so if you're earning anything it will ask you to check one of these boxes so i don't use unity in professional capacity or company organization i present earn less than okay so we'll go with not professional because i have not released any games so click on done okay, you can always switch from this license to professional in future by clicking on professional edition or note that even if you do offline installation you will need to download unity hub otherwise you will get those uh, license error right okay now next thing we can see the project section here and here we can choose new project currently i only have one of the unity builds so when i click on this new you can see here it lets me choose the unity version that i have right so clicking on that should open up a template so here you see 2d 3d High definition RP universal render pipeline so currently we don't need anything specific other than 2d so we will only select that so let this one load before we can proceed here we will name our project for now so 2d or 2d demo and We'll keep this location as is. You will see a few more additional templates are there, but we'll have to download them before we can use them, right? So we will just go with 2D for now. Once Unity is loaded, what you can do is you will check for preference. So 
go to edit then preference and here you have to search for external tools then check for external editor click on browse right then search for visual studio code okay so it seems to be in some of the folder okay here now you see how to check this and click open right once you do that everything looks good we will take a look at setting up for android later but you want pretty much set for opening your c sharp scripts in visual studio code with unity